Hey y'all, um, I'm so used to saying Julie P. Yogi here, but I'm not Julie P. Yogi anymore. Now I am um, the Radiant Reseller. And kind of funny how I came up with that name. I was like working on my business and my son was um, in some sort of contraption, baby exercise or something nearby me. And I said, I looked at him and I was like, mama is building her empire. And then I'm like, Oh, I need to change the name. I've been wanting to, I've been thinking about it for a while. And then I was like, Empiris? Like, is that a word? What am I, you know, trying to come up with a name? And then somehow all the names with Empiris were already taken. So somehow I led, I did synonyms, came up with Radiant. I don't know. So that's what it is. I like it. The Radiant Reseller. I mean, I am a yoga teacher, so it kind of goes hand in hand with Shining love outward. See my new shirt. California Republic. I'm from California. I just bought it off Poshmark. Okay, so huge shoe haul. I, I forget where you need to look at the camera. <laughs> um, I have to hurry because my son has not been sleeping long. Um, his naps lately, one of his naps today was 25 minutes. Let me tell you y'all, I cannot get enough done in 25 minutes. It was not long enough. I'm sorry, I'm fixing the remote to this camera or to my ring light okay so I went to the bins Goodwill outlet last um, Friday so I want to show y'all what I got I haven't added it up yet but I think I will when I post this thousands of dollars worth of stuff for $48 they weigh the shoes by the pound I think they were I want to say they were $1.99 a pound and um, I got okay I got like seven books for my son a little like gym on the go bag for my husband that had um those little rubber elastic or rubber um workout bands that have like different tensions oh and i totally forgot i got this bag too i already did a haul video on instagram stories but you know how that goes away so i thought i'd do this and so now this one i was very surprised at the so whenever i don't i don't look up comps when I'm in Goodwill, I look up how much the price was originally, so then I can get an idea of how much I, it's worth. Um, but this is like a Jan Sport. Look at that big ass. It's like a duffel bag, and then it also has the backpack straps. It's in great condition. These are $169 brand new, so I was like, whoa. Only thing wrong with it is this is peeling off. This is like the little place where you put your name or whatever. So I'm just gonna like cut that off or use my steam uh seam ripper Let's see if I can get that off and I'll also just put that part's missing okay so I'm gonna start with what I got for my son because they are so cute little itty bitty baby kids and they're leather how cute are these my husband has some little leather um little his aren't little <laughs> leather diesel shoes and I'm like it would be so cute if they had both had their little brown leather shoes on stop saying little his are not little they both have their brown shoes on It'd be too cute so those I got for him and these I'm not I think I'm gonna post on Poshmark their little kid toms now these are really dirty and in my mind I was thinking oh you can just throw them in the wash forgetting that I'm 98% sure that that is leather it doesn't say, and I was, I'm wondering if anybody's washed Toms and how it turns out, because I also got another pair of Toms. Oh, right in front of me. Oh, these ones you can read a little bit better. Oh, it doesn't say anywhere. I mean, it, it almost feels like, oh, it's not leather. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's like a layer of foam and a layer of what looks like paper so weird i would have sworn that was leather um if it is leather it's a very thin thin thing so i and i know that tom's does not recommend that you wash them um but i got these as well and these are in pretty good shape they're almost like boat shoes with the little leather backs on them and they definitely they're like already distressed i think they don't well i can't tell that kind of looks like it's not supposed to look like that now but it's sealed there's no rips i don't know y'all toms are a good 
20 or $30 um, income sale. What am I talking? Okay. So this is a brand I'd never heard of before. They're kind of cute. I don't know. They're kind of old lady-ish. <laughs> They're a brand called Cork Ease, K-O-R-K dash E-A-S-E. -E, and then it says the original since 1953. These are a, I'm not going to tell the sizes y'all. If you are interested in these shoes, you can comment on here and I will tell you the size because I have to hurry. So I don't have time to do all this, but this brand, I looked it up and I want to say that they were around $200 brand new. Um, okay. This shoe, my husband scared me and goes, oh, that's a Walmart brand. I'm like, no, it is not. I Googled it. It's not Walmart. It's a brand called Wolverine 1883. And I was just looking up now to just try to find the same exact shoe and I couldn't really find them, but they're just like a men's leather work boot. And these are in fabulous condition, men's nine and a half. I told you I was going to tell the size. If I can see the size easily, I will tell you pink Chuck Taylor. So now these are dirty, but you can just tell that's just like dust or whatever, and it'll come off easily. I'm going to throw them in the wash. These are super cute. I kind of want them for me, but I'm pretty sure they're too small. What size? Yeah. Women's size nine. Men's. Can you imagine a man <laughs> brand wearing that? I don't know. These I just listed in my Poshmark store. I'm super excited about. They are... You know, now that I say it, it doesn't say, I know the top is leather. I can't tell if this part is leather. I'm pretty sure, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it is. But these are um, a brand that I had heard of from Rally Roots guys. They're called Foot Joy, they're golf shoes, they're like golf cleats or whatever. I guess maybe all golf shoes have those little spikes on the bottom. They retail from anywhere between like $1.99 and $3.99. So I started with listing them, I want to say two something. I posted that they were $300 brand new because I couldn't tell. Some of the versions were $300 and some weren't. So these are called super light. So I don't know. We'll see how those go. Dance goes. And y'all, there were these same exact pair, two pairs of them, but I couldn't find the match to one of them. Dance goes have done really well for me in the past. Size 39, which I think is what a woman's nine or eight. They look small. Um, and the only issue obviously with a little bit of wear and tear or the use or whatever was that it looks a little like worn right there. And I'm going to try coloring that with a black marker and seeing if that makes a difference because it's on both sides. These ones I was so excited about, and just now when I went to go take a picture to post them, I found a rip right there. And these are Cole Hans. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sew the rip and then, you know, just sew needle and thread and then post as is. Because I actually have a pair of boots that I bought with a rip like that right there. I sewed them. And then they kept ripping all over and they were like born or some fancy brand and you would not, but I got them for $10. So you can't complain at Marty and Liz. If y'all don't have a Marty and Liz, you should come to Nashville because <laughs> we have two and they're amazing. They have high end name brand shoes for super cheap. Like you can get dance goes there for 30 bucks and they're brand new or been worn one time in like a fashion show. Okay. Men's 11. And it's weird cause I thought this and this other pair were probably donated by the same person because they both had that like, what is it called? Pronation or whatever words the outside, like, do look at that. That's a bit extreme, but I'm just going to post that. That's what they look like. Um, and as is, I was a little bummed about that little, that's the one thing about the Goodwill outlet is that, um, or the, the bins as y'all call them is that there's nowhere to sit down. And so you're just standing, going over all your stuff. And I was there three hours. And by that third hour, everything is starting to hurt. My back is killing me and I just want to get out of there. So I was surprised because I found some shoes at the bottom of my cart that I didn't know <laughs> were in there when I went to go pay for. These are called Johnston and Murphy. And I had looked, I had to look that up. I wasn't familiar with that brand, but it was a very pricey brand. I want to say $200. Same thing. It has that little bit of, but I feel like that could be, easily resold for super cheap because that's only the rubber edge it's not the wood um but these are a nine and a half and I mean every other part of the shoe is like 
amazing condition, right? Super cute. Um, these are so ugly, but I looked them up and they were like 240, I think, brand new. I don't get the shape. I feel like they're maybe like an older man's, like a stability type of shoe. Cause just, I don't know, they're like square, right? They're New Balance leather. They say NB walking on them. I think these are men's 12 and a half. And then on the bottom they say walking strike path. And then on the side they say roll bar graphite. And that's what I looked up when I searched for it was the roll bar graphite. I don't know what that means. I know when a car has a roll bar. <laughs> I don't know what it means when. I don't know, but they're pricey, so I got them. Um, I already showed you the little baby toms. Look at these. <laughs> so cute. Little girl moccasin. Uh, Minnetonka moccasin brand. Minnetonka, which I went to go list this and found out it's not Minnetonka moccasins. It's just Minnetonka. And so I was also very surprised to find out these were $75 brand new. They look like they've never worn their toddler girl size 8. Super cute. Just listed them today. And then this one pair. Oh, it's got like pink leather on it from the boot. These I actually bought at Goodwill. Um, Sorry, something in my mouth. These ones I actually bought at Goodwill the day before. And they're a, a brand I've never heard of before called... BP. They're new in leather and I actually might keep these for me. They're sold at Nordstrom's and they were six bucks. So super cute. I can't wear shoes with a big heel. So those are perfect for me. Oh, and I'm saving final two for last. So what I did was try to put one of every shoe in that basket. So that way I didn't have to show you both of every shoe. And then in the process got lost because <laughs> I had so many shoes. These, let me tell you, I had this one in my car, in my hand for almost the whole time. Cause I'm like, I have to find the other one. Just when I was about ready to give up, I found it. Tip of the day. Don't give up. They had like six or eight shoe bins and the bins are huge. <laughs> it's funny. I stuff the shoes when I'm taking the picture so that it doesn't like sink down right there. <laughs> There's a cloth diaper cover that I was debating about keeping or selling. And I, so I had it sitting right here. Okay, so Chacos. It's weird on the website. At first when I looked at it, it said they only came in um, brown and black. But this does not, to me it looks gray. It's like, this looks like a olivey brown and then this looks like an olive green. I don't know. I don't know, but like when you stick this next to a brown, see, it doesn't really look the same color. So I don't know, but these are called Cataluna and they, they all legit look like they've never been worn, but I know they have because they had dirt all on the bottom and I cleaned all the dirt off <laughs> as best I could. And the only, there was like one mark on one shoe, wherever the other one is that you can't get off. These are like $200 brand new. I had no idea. I was like, so I'm excited about those. And then the icing on the cake. Brand I never heard of. So always research brands, y'all. If you get in there and you're like, you can tell when something is nicely made. If it says Italian leather, it's your first sign. So this is a brand. You can see it's called Bell Staff. Weird, I can smell the wood. B-E-L-S-T-A-F-F. -F. And it says made in Italy. B-E-L-S-T-A-F-F. -F. Yeah. And look, they look like they've never been worn. And I really couldn't even tell. The only sign that I could tell that they've been worn is the little, like, sticker that has, like, the size and stuff on it was rubbed off. And, I mean, they kind of seem a little worn as in, like, broken in. But there's... It's just bizarre. There's, like, no dirt, no scuffing no edges nothing oh look that's one way I guess you could tell there's a teeny bit of that 
well you can't really even see it it's so slight these retail for $585 what can you imagine just $500 like that's almost some people's rent that's crazy to spend that much money on a pair of boots I mean yeah they are really cool they're kind of like moto army book army looking boots you know these cool cool little straps and zippers up the back they have zippers up at the back and laces that's funny but $585 y'all and there, there was no no of these kind of boots on Poshmark sold or for available but there are on eBay and they on eBay they're going for around 150 but I figured since there's none on Poshmark I'm gonna start high and go from there um, I was very excited about these and this is another one that I almost gave up because there's so many brown boots and it was hard to find them but when I found it I was like, oh, thank the Lord God Almighty so y'all all of these boots, except for the one pair from the actual Good Oil, and that backpack, and the boots, or in the books, and that um, little bag for my husband that had the exercise bands, $48. $48. I can tell you right now that uh, maybe four of these pairs I will sell for under 40 The rest are all 40 or above. So, basically sell two pairs of shoes and I've already earned it, made back my money. So excited. This was one of the best hauls. The last time I went there, they didn't have shoes and I was super bummed. And this time, I spent so much time looking for those two separate shoes. I didn't even get a chance to look at the clothes. I was so exhausted. Plus, I was worried how much it was going to be because you don't have a, like, you know, you don't know how much it weighs. So, you don't have a clue how much you're spending. So, it's a little scary. So, what I did was I went over and said, can I just weigh this and see how much it's going to be? And then the guy was like, eh. 48 and I'm like oh okay never mind I'll pay for it because <laughs> I'm like okay I'm done and I had been gone all morning and my, my baby missed me but it was fun to be like I got a lot of really good deals and so I mean I, I posted three or four pairs with them but I'm just super excited that this was one of my best hauls from um the Goodwill outlets and I want to hear from any of y'all have watched Tom's what happens to that little leather in the middle if you do or whatever that is I don't think it's leather so but if it's paper then it might shred right I don't know <laughs> but these are kind of cute they might be for my son Tom's play shoes <laughs> that's funny super expensive but they're just play shoes but he has a shit ton of shoes but my favorites are the um freshly picked moccasins they're so adorable. He has like four pairs and I have another pair on the way. Shh, don't tell my husband. They were only $6 on my car, y'all. Okay, so that is all. Y'all have a good day. Um, if you like my videos or if you learn something from my videos, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell up at the top. And also, right now, for the month of July, I am doing a free closet consult. So, if you're maybe not making the sales that you would like to make and you would like some tips, I will go through your closet with you over the phone and um, give you some tips and tell you what's working for me. And then, you, in a month, will get back to me and let me know how it went and if your sales are going up. And it's funny is because I've been working with, I, have, I think I have four or five women that I've already helped and I started taking my own advice <laughs> and I sold 11 things over the weekend y'all it's, it's been a while since I've sold that many things in one weekend so all right peace out